Hey guys and welcome back. In this episode we're gonna rig this boxing bag and if you don't want to do this but you need a model it's on my Patreon and let's go! Welcome back. Today we're gonna be rigging this boxing bag that we made in the previous episode. Hit the link if you want to see that one. So this is gonna be pretty basic and for this one we actually don't need the reference anymore so just like it press H also I don't like that it's about the ground so we're just gonna move it like this seems good and then of course right select set origin origin to 3d cursor so it's a row. okay so let's get animating so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna shift a armature single ball and then it's gonna be down there then we're gonna be selecting um, oh, I always forget this one then we're gonna go here and then we're gonna select in front just so we always can see it luckily we created everything in the middle so we don't need to care about this so now it's more about placing this strategic clip so G said, I think that we're gonna have like one bone here, and then we're gonna E to extrude, and then set of course to keep it in the middle, and it's gonna be one bone for this one as well. The wireframe to help me, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so then we can have four, two and two, right? Just make sure it's nothing extruded from this anymore. It isn't E, set, and you know what? I'm gonna do it even better for us. So we're gonna have the magnet and have it to vertex. So it will snap and of course activate it. So G set, uh, E and G set. So there we have one, E set, and E set, and then E set. So basically what we're gonna do now, take off snapping and of course get a nice viewport, go back to object mode, select the mesh and then the bones and then control P. And we can try with automatic weights, just to see how it deforms. And then we can go in post mode and G. G. And G. Yeah. Okay, so what I see is this bone. I don't want to. I want this bone to control the whole root and the bottom. So I don't want this one to have the possibility to wiggle it like this. And this one, not to wiggle this one. And these we have to unlink as well. So it doesn't do like this. So what we're gonna do is that we go to object mode and we select this one weight paints and then these are just named like this so first of all we're gonna select this one and now we are gonna go to uh, let's see so if you just tap select you can go over this one and then I'm just gonna make this transparent so we select both sides and press 3 to make sure that we are in faces select all these faces right and then we're gonna just wait to 1 and assign then you can see this one becomes totally red and I don't want this bone to have anything to do with this or maybe a little bit I think that's okay because then when it bends it kind of have the root here so then we go to the second one and we see it still has some 
effect on this one. So we just shift select, set the weight to zero, assign. And now it doesn't affect this one at all. And then also we want it to have fully command over its own. And make sure that you get these under. And then just weight, assign. Now it has full weight and a little bit on this so that it will make sense. I also don't want it to have anything to do with this. When you hit this, it shouldn't start bending this. It's supposed to be hard. So let's just set the weight to zero. Just to be sure, select a bit more, assign. And now it should be okay. And then when we look at this one, I think this one looks good, 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 and pretty good. So it doesn't seem unreasonable. Um, maybe a bit much there, so nah, it makes sense. So now I think that the weight paint is good. And we can of course double check that. Then just go into post mode and then if you rotate this, it doesn't affect what's under it. But it still moves this bit a bit. Like you're never gonna box it that much, I hope. Uh, and same goes for this one. So it has a little effect as you can see, but it's so small that it actually makes sense in a way because like this one is stretching this one. So I think it's good. And if you've been doing a lot of stuff like in air and move them and can't really get them back, of course you can press A and then Alt G, Alt R and then Alt Scale if you scale them. And Objects, Control A, Alt Transform. And the same for the bones. Control A, all transforms. Make sure that everything is 0, 0, 0 for both of them and scale is both at 1, 1, 1, 1. Thank you for sticking out to the end. So the next episode, we're going to be having a small video on how to rig it up in Cascador. And then we're going to move on to texture it so it can look more like this, this, this. Hi, bye bye.